Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Food Junkie, coming at you with another video. I couldn't wait to get in the car today to talk to you. First of all, I want to say thank you for everyone who wished me happy birthday yesterday. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's much appreciated. Much love. Thank you very much. Also, I want to thank all of my new subscribers that I received yesterday. Thank you very much for um, subscribing to me. Thank you very much also for watching the videos. I uh, truly appreciate it. This video is about a legend, an icon. And you can tell in the title who it's about. A Miss T.S. Madison. A true boss lady. Let's talk about it. Yesterday she had a live last night. Kind of late, you know, not too late. But she had a live. And in that live, she addressed several things. And for all of you who think that you're winning, this is how you're winning. This is how you win. First off, she addressed several things. She addressed her fans and her supporters. She apologized for how she reacted and responded to the vicious attacks that was against her and Funky Darneva. She apologized for that. But she also reminded you that her going off and cussing somebody out is how you was introduced to her. So she stayed true to who she was initially who she, and who she is. We're all human. We all make mistakes. And we all go through things and times when we are pushed to the limit to where we react and respond. And like I said in several videos now, people, when they ask you to leave them alone and keep your name out their mouth, they mean that. They don't want you to sit up there and keep on pushing them and pushing them and pushing them until you get tired. Everyone's not built the same way. Everyone doesn't work the same way. Some people will just cut you out with a vicious read. Some people will come see you. Now, the young lady that she was talking about is scary. She revealed herself. She don't leave her house. She don't go nowhere because she's, she's afraid of who may try to attack her. And I'll have this to say to her. You wouldn't be attacked if you keep your fucking mouth closed. You wouldn't be attacked if you stopped trying to cause trouble and race trouble on these YouTube streets. You don't control anyone but weak people. Strong people will not allow you to control them. And you can't hold a couple of dots on, over people's head in order to control them. And if you do, they don't have much anyway. So I feel sorry for them. But that's another story altogether. It's not about that. It's about celebrating T.S. Madison. She apologized to her um, supporters and fans and her Maddie Mob. She showed you who she was, who she is, who she's always been, who she always will be, which I appreciate that. You know, stay true to who you are, know who you are, live in your authenticity. Love it. And she also did a boss move. Only boss chicks do this. She turned a negative into a positive. While old girl is trying to sit around here asking people to call her or call in or make videos of their bad experience, which is probably few and far in between. Because the one caller the young lady had yesterday, she didn't tell that she had a bad experience at the Baltimore show. What she said was the Baltimore show was in the ghetto. So, you probably live in the ghetto. You probably survive in the ghetto. You probably was born in the ghetto. So what are you talking about? The show was, the club was in the ghetto. Tell me what black club is in some posh area, some posh neighborhood. Maddie caters to the urban audience. So what urban audience, you know, is ro rolling around in a Beverly Hills club? Dummy. Anyways, that pissed me off when I saw that. I'm like, how the hell are you going to try to say your only complaint was that, you know, you was in an urban area and you, was, and you didn't like it? That's no complaint. That's no, that's no receipt. That's not tea. That's delusion. Maddie cares for the urban crowd. So, therefore, her crowd is going to fit the venues that her crowd um, fre frequents, where the clubs are. Anyways, that's no here or there. Actually, it is here and there. But yesterday, Maddie, <laughs> you did it, baby. You did it. Maddie not only apologized, showed who she was, stayed true to who she was, and moved on. She said, turning a negative into a positive, everyone who went to my show, any of my shows that I produced, that my name was on the um, top of the thing as far as being one of uh, T.S. Madison's productions, Make a one, two, 
minute video. Send it to me. Tell me how much you enjoyed the show. And I'm going to post it on my Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Pinterest. Shit, the hell. I don't know. MySpace. I don't care. She's going to post it all. Let me know how one of a time, wonderful of a time you had. Ball smooth, baby girl. I love it. Ball smooth. Take notes, ugly girl. Take notes. Well, you're not ugly. I should say that you're not ugly. But your soul is ugly and dark. Take notes. Maddie's winning. You're losing. You're still out here struggling, telling the same story. Maddie done moved on and turned the negative into a positive. Remember, take notes. The Mandy Man Whore comment. Is that a t-shirt now? You're not going to win with this one. Hang it up. Let it go. Move on. But anyways, what Maddie did was she said that not only did she say make a video and I'm going to post it, letting people know what kind of shows shows I have, she also showed the, show the, the, the ticket sales since it's been going on. Blowing up. Her ticket sales aren't, aren't dwindling at all. They're getting bigger. People want to see what's going on. People, people want to see the real tea. People want to see what's happening. And Maddie's also said yesterday that if you are a repeat customer, she'll give you a discount on your next show. Just show, you know, your tickets. Fan appreciation. It's called organic growth, people. Growing your business from within. I haven't talked to you about my business prowess yet, but I told you, I'm everything. I'm everywhere. I know a lot about a little bit. Well, I know a little bit about a lot of different subjects. Organic growth. Maddie's smart as fuck. If you are a repeat customer and enjoyed my show, let me know and I will give you a discount on your next ticket. Not only will I give you a discount on your next ticket, drinks are on me for the night. Now, that can be one drink, two drinks, three drinks, she ain't going to buy the bar out for you now because she's she still going to tip them and pay them all. But, boss, move, Maddie. Oh, my God. Young lady, let this go. Leave it alone. You're not going to win this one. She, you're playing checkers with her. She's playing chess. Now she, you're, not, you're not even playing a board game. While you are playing checkers with her, she's playing ballrooms. She's on stage doing things, making moves, being productive, being positive, growing her brand, capitalizing on what you have caused. Yeah, you may make a couple of dollars off your videos. Maddie's gonna make thousands. Her goal, she said, is to make $2 million this year. Thank you for having to make that goal. Cause she's gonna make it based on what she's gonna make off of you and this little beef that you started for no reason she started off as collateral damage and now she's winning do you think that people's not going to want to see her people's not want to come um, view her last night she talked off at 1.5k you say you always had big views you never had that the only time you had 1,200 people in your um, chat was when she was on. And when her and Bucky got off, your numbers went down. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got more numbers than me. Who cares? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's your way of life. That's your living. Not mine. So, while you always had some numbers, a couple hundred here and there, you never had numbers until you started talking about what she did or what put her name and fucking name into your mouth. You've never had those type of numbers. And you never will until you find someone else being to try to beef with. She only addressed you to clear the air. But Maddie's winning this. You're not. You're losing. But you've been losing a lot lately. You lost um, Nicole Tyler. You lost S. Hutchison. You lost against Fibe. You lost against Sean Bradley. You lost against Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> Why?
What have you won recently, boo? Think about it. Ask yourself, what have you won recently? You've been losing for the past couple of weeks, past couple of months. You've been losing since 2018. Oh, you lost Kwani for a moment. You lost Ask April. Stay in your fucking lane, you fucking idiot. Oh my God. This bitch must want me to own that car in her fucking life. Anyways, yeah. You've been losing, baby. Man is a winner, baby. Baby. <laughs> sad. Sad, sad, sad. Now, if you don't want to lose again, don't come for me. <laughs> I'm not like nothing you ever seen on these YouTube streets. Trust me, I'm not. I'm a little bit of everybody. A little bit of everything. I take a little bit here. Take a little bit from there. Take a little bit from here. Take a little bit from there. I have my own little twist to it. Don't fuck with me. I name out your mouth. I didn't mention your name as of yet. But yeah, Maddie's winning. You lost. Good job, Maddie. True boss lady. True boss chick. Keep on doing what you do, Maddie. If you like my content, please go to my channel. See more. Peruse it a little bit. Peruse. That means view. And if you like the content on my channel, please subscribe. Share like and comment as I always say love yourself love someone else respect yourself respect someone else until next time this is Food Junkie and I'm out